to pay tribute to those soldiers who have made the supreme sacrifice of life itself. Even in an army of hundreds of thousands, each one of these heroes has a story to be told. Losing 46 soldiers is still difficult. Ishmael G. Solorio. But for 46 families, Walter Freeman Jr. Losing just one soldier, Derek A. Gibson. Their soldier, Brian L. Holden. That loss is devastating. They say time heals. But it's, it's just hard. It's just the hardest thing I've ever been through. 46 names now join many others. These stones are symbolic, but the gratitude is genuine. The names inscribed on these stones are an example of the greatness of our nation. All ranks, backgrounds, colors, face, yet one common thread. They are soldiers. American soldiers. Some dropped roses, some shed tears, but everyone reached out to touch the memorial, to touch their soldier's name, wishing they could touch the soldier himself. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's very touching to feel your son's name on the wall. Knowing that it'll never be forgotten, his name's always going to be there. As long as this post exists, his name will be on that rock. For these families, Memorial Day is more than just parades and picnics. For them, it's a day of mourning, a day to remember the soldiers they've lost, the soldiers they still love. At Fort Carson, Mike Kinnean, Fox 21 News.